David, how do you not become just sort of like totally nihilistic given <laughs> what you've seen in Washington, on Capitol Hill, in political campaigns, doing this reporting and really exposing, as you said earlier, how little the will of the people actually matters um, to a lot of these stakeholders in Washington? Like what keeps you from just going down the path of total nihilism? Uh, well, I mean, I will, uh, I will admit that like on my darkest moments, I, you know, have, you go down thoughts. that path. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, you know, I, I get depressed. I get de demoralized. Like, like anybody else who pays attention to this and takes, you know, actually, you know, believes in, you know, trying to do good things that help, you know, society. Right. I mean, it's, it's demoralizing, but I also, you know, like I have children, uh, I have a community that I love. Um, I, you know, I, myself, don't want to, for instance, die in a fire tornado, right? So I'd like the climate <laughs> crisis to be uh, dealt with, right? So, like, I'm sort of like if if you're if you're a, a citizen in the world and and you know care about some basic things, then this system is rotted. It's terrible. It needs to be fixed, uh, and you've got to participate in fixing it. Uh, you know, uh, there's an old, uh, you know. Uh, uh, line from a my religious tradition, which says, you know, you're not obligated to complete the work, but you you also can't walk away from the work. Uh, I'm mm. paraphrasing here, but like, you know, like you're you're we're not going to complete all you know the work of fixing the world, but you can't also just walk away from it. So, you know, like this is the world we live in. Like we have to try, and I think that like. Yes, I've had moments where I'm like, you know what, I'm I'm out, like I'm done. I, I I hate this. I can't look at it every day. I like it's it's so nauseating. It's so pointless. And I have those days. And you know, like, and by the way, I don't begrudge people who say, look, I I just I, I can't focus on this anymore. It's just too it's too depressing. I'm not saying like those people are bad. I get that impulse, but I also think like, and by the way, I also think like just saying, oh, you know, they're all corrupt. You know, nothing good can possibly happen. And anybody who's trying to work in that system, you must be corrupt or at least stupid by trying to fix things because the whole system is corrupt. You know, sort of the black pill idea. Like, I just, you yeah. know, there's a blue pill, the red pill, and the black. Like, I reject that too. Like, you're not smarter by just walking away. Like, you're not better than people uh, by walking away. And by the way, you're not better than people by saying, you know, um, anybody who's ever voted for a Democrat is supporting the duopoly. Like, Here's the thing, the Democratic Party is super corrupt, but in the short term, right, in the context, for instance, of the reconciliation bill, all you have right now is a Democratic Party and a Republican Party in Congress. Like, like you've got to try to get, like, there's a climate crisis happening. It's a ticking time bomb. Like, you you have to try to get this horrible, corrupt system to, to try to do the right thing, stipulating that it is horrible, it's corrupt, the game is rigged. All of that stuff is stipulated, but like, walking away from it or, or just sort of rolling your eyes and saying anybody who's even trying to participate in it is stupid, dumb, and or complicit. Like, I just reject that. Like, there's too much at stake. It doesn't mean don't hold, you know, progressives accountable, right? Like, the squad, the progressive members of Congress, like, they need to be held accountable to their promises to hold out. The corporate Democrats need to be held accountable. But the idea of just rolling your eyes and being like, you know, they're all corrupt. Anybody trying to do any of that is, is you know, fortifying the evil duopoly. Like, no, there's the, other, the, the other way to look at it is like, yes, the duopoly is pathetic and terrible and corrupt, but it's like what we have in the short term, right in the here and now, we're on a scientific environmental ticking time bomb uh, time scale here. And like, we've got to do anything that we can to make the system respond. Yeah. I mean, to your point, I love everything you said there because the people who take that position, the, they're all corrupt and then they just check out of the system. To me, that strikes me as a war on nuance and like just really sloppy thinking. Because in my opinion, the fact of the matter is most of them are corrupt. The overwhelming majority of them are corrupt, but that doesn't mean that they're all corrupt. That certainly doesn't mean they're all the same. And that definitely doesn't mean that you don't even have instances of somebody who is corrupt, who might happen to do the right thing every now and then. For example, Joe Biden getting out of Afghanistan, pulling all the troops out of Afghanistan. So like you said, there's just- I'm uh, so too glad you say that. Let me just, can I just say, I'm so glad you said that because here's the underneath so much of this is the, the, 
the ESPNization, as I've called it, the ESPNization of politics, to see it as a team sport and to see uh, the, the idols that we were, you know, politicians are idols. They're either good or they're bad. Uh, they're uh, always good people or bad people. But actually what, what they should be looked at, they're chess pieces on a chessboard. They're machine inputs into a machine. They're essentially, they're, they're, they're an input into an apparatus. And the question is, what outcome do you want from the apparatus? You know, like, I know some politicians. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm friendly with, with some of them, like, you know, that I've, you know, that I've known for years and years, right? Like, but ultimately, like, I understand that in their job, they're a machine input. I, you know, I or we or society needs them, that the system that they're in to produce an outcome, you know, it, to put it in the, you know, Jerry Maguire, it's not show friends, it's show business that ultimately you can be somebody can, you can be friendly with or think they're a nice person. But like when it comes time to having them do their job to get an, uh, to get an outcome that we need to, you know, for instance, survive the climate crisis, doesn't matter if they're nice or friendly or whatever. And I think the problem is, is that we've been, there's so much of a propaganda system designed to make you think that, oh, you know, that person must be a good person. That person must be a bad person. And therefore I'm with the good person, even when they're doing bad and I'm against the bad person when they're doing good. And and, and that confuses what it should really be about is I don't care if they're good or bad people. Like, I don't care if Joe Biden's a nice guy or a terrible guy. Like, I don't care about any of that. The only thing I care about is like, you know, being able to afford health care, uh, having my community and the world survive the climate crisis. And I don't care if Joe Biden's not nice, nice. I don't care. If Joe Manchin's a great guy, a terrible guy. All I care about is the outcome. And I think that is the way we need to look at politics, not as a some sort of sporting event, not as some sort of, you know, you know, you're rooting for the good guys or the bad guys. It's a machine that we need outcomes from. How do we tune the machine? How do we make sure the inputs into the machine are delivering those outcomes that benefit the public and not the donor class only? Yeah. And, and the biggest problem with the political nihilism pill, in my opinion, is that ultimately it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy where you sit on the sidelines and you wait to say, I told you so. Yeah. You wait for yes. everything to fall apart. And they're like, see, putting in any effort was stupid from the beginning. And it's yeah. not. The effort is virtuous in and of itself, regardless of the outcome. But anyway, yeah. I digress from that. I want to ask you a question about the Bernie campaign. In yes. your opinion, 